and welcome to Scope. Today we're talking 3D science, from our visual perceptions of the real world to creating 3D images in the virtual world. If you've ever wobbled, squished or splattered jelly before, you know it can make a lot of fun. But our jelly is much more of a medical wonder. Hi, I'm Aurelian. And I'm Melika. We are biologists and together we are working on growing cells using bioink. A bioink is a special laboratory jelly which needs to be made in sterile condition so it doesn't get contaminated. We use the bioink in 3D printers to print shapes for medical research. This is called bioprinting. The bioink we are working with has a very special function. The shapes we print with our bioink are used to grow living human cells. We do this with donated cells which are implanted into the bioink shape. The bioink has exactly the right conditions to form new human tissue. Just like soil, which has the right conditions for tiny seeds to grow into plants. So, how is bioink made? If you have made jelly at home, this might look familiar. We start with a powder called agarose, which is actually extracted from seaweed. This gives the gel its springy feeling. We add purified water and heat it up. Then, we add a precise mix of proteins called peptides. They are the magic ingredients that help the cells communicate and grow. When our bioink has cooled, then it is loaded into our 3D bioprinter. This device is connected to a computer, which sends the design of our exact shape to get printed in bioink. Here, it's our finished shape. It's a new home for our donated cells to grow. We have printed a tube shape to create a new blood vessel. The cells are carefully transferred into the tube, where the peptides help them grow. We then treated the cells to glow green under our microscope to check on their growing progress. When the blood vessel is fully grown, it can be used for medical tests. This means we could find out if a new medicine works the way it's supposed to, testing it on tissue we have grown instead of a real human patient. That's a much safer way to test new medicine, which could help millions of people in the future. So one day soon, 3D bioprinted tissue could be the key to saving lives. <laughs>